World of Outlaws, Super Dirt Late Models, man. We're here at freaking Super Speedway of Eldora, basically. Eldora Super Speedway is what I like to call it. But we're the number four car. Holy smokes. Hey, we got Lucas Ruark out here. I haven't raced against him in a minute, man, at least in the Supers. So that's awesome. Uh, Drew Jonkman, of course. Keith Hackney, I haven't raced him in a long time either, man. It's freaking a throwback going on here. But, uh, but yeah, a big thanks, of course, to Majulse Speed Shop for hooking me up with the setups. If you guys want to run the same sets I'm running, the link's in the description with a 15% off discount code. But let's go ahead and rip it into qualifying and uh, see what we got with these guys. Qualifying, I feel like it's always extremely tight here, man. I don't know if it's a second lap or first lap. I feel like it's probably a second lap fast time. But, man, I don't know. We're going maybe, I don't even know. Screw it, we'll go for a second lap fast time. Screw it. We'll try to be cool. Actually, no, I think I nailed that right there. Let's go for the first lap here. Definitely am not getting down low enough. And didn't floor it soon enough there. Didn't get high enough against the wall. Trying to play it a little bit safe. I think we had pull for a split second. But that should be fairly decent. Oh, ew. ew. A 15-2. I don't know. That might not hold on to it. As far as like the top three or something like that, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Top four. I think I got down to like, yeah, 15 0 out there in practice. Still a lot of people to qualify. These guys like qualifying last second for some reason. I don't get it. Is that the strat? When you're a goat, you have to qualify like last second. But all right. We'll load into the heat races and we'll see where we end up uh, from qualifying. All right, man. Gridded up here in heat race number one. Uh, we're gridded up on the third row. I qualified like fifth or something like that. Dude, these guys are mobbing. But I feel like I'm, I'm good. I'm locked into third here. These two guys in front of me are really fast. Mr. Piper and Mr. Ruark. These guys are straight digging. So I think we might be able to hang off of Eric, maybe. I don't know. Let's let's take the green, man. Eight laps here. Cautionless racing. Here we go. Big stuff. Austin didn't get the best start there on the outside line. We're gonna be able to, oh my gosh, get parked on, but it's all good. The next car's the leader. Thankfully, the car we lifted inside. for it. Clear. And let's try not to get parked on ourselves here. Oh man, yeah, this guy's flying, dude. <laughs> Clear inside. Come on, get around me, get that thing moving. Come on, son. Get back underneath him here. Straight digging, baby. I thought I was going to door the hell out of him, if I'm being honest. But we're digging. Eric's not too far back. Austin's definitely got the speed. Look at this heavy throttle. It is. We are using some heavy throttle out here. This is more what it's like, baby. This is the good stuff. Lucas. Like, what? What? He is gone. What? This is huge, man. I am impressed. That is really cool. He's ripping straight wall right now. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, we had that thing freaking tight. I'm trying to learn off these guys in front of me, man. We're going to be in these guys' dust. <laughs> Man, <laughs> sorry for freaking out so much, but I am just like, like, wow. Caden Yates, goodbye. I murdered Caden, unfortunately, in the practice, so I'm just very sorry about that, Caden. But he's dead. He's gone. We're going to take third here in heat race number one. Man, this is going to be a tough main event, man. I think we got like 15 cars out here. And uh, we'll see how heat race number two goes. See if anyone can dominate like that. Wow. For some reason, we're getting the green lights right now on the backstretch. This is a really big information, but the pace truck's about to pull off. We're going to be on board here with some Ju Jonkman action. And uh, we'll see how these guys can do it, baby. we got eight laps of cautionless racing. Drew's on the outside. He's got old Keith Hackney up on the inside. He's going to be really fast. I imagine Keith is just going to absolutely check out. But we'll see. Yeah, they're getting up to the wall already. Which is really interesting. But maybe that's normal. That's what Lucas is running at least. And they're rolling middle here in three and four. 
This is very good. <laughs> oh, a little tight there, but that's normal. That's all good. See how Keith's keeping it up here? He's like an inch off the wall, dude. Oh, these guys are too good for me. This is unfortunate. And I don't even think this is that big of a strength of field. It might be, I don't know, but... It might not be. Lap number five here, just about halfway through already. Ripping top three and fourth, check on the rest of the field. Everyone's making the A main also. Got this guy back here holding on. Sorry for the silence there. I was messaging Daytona Dad on Discord. I'm doing some background work right now. Drew's ripping top. These guys are gonna get the white flag next time. Bye. Maybe that time even. Nope. Next time. Bye. Will be the white flag. Then it's freaking main event time. 40 laps. Hopefully it can be cautionless. There's not a lot of cars out here, you know, so it very well could go cautionless. I have a good feeling. But I just hope we get some great racing in. That's the white. And he's absolutely gone. This is going to be a really monumental race between uh, oh, Keith and Lucas in the main. But hope we get uh, good seats for it. Let's go ahead and roll up into it and uh, see what we got for these guys. All right, man, coming out of four, getting the one to green, lining up here, third row inside in the fifth spot. This is right where we need to stay. I'm looking for just a top five. Um, I hope we can do it. I have a good feeling, you know, these guys in front of us, they're really fast and really competitive. There's a big chance that there might be some attrition going on up front. I've seen it countless times with, uh, with <laughs> in dirt, with people green. running up front that are just really fast. But we'll see. These guys might be all super clean. Who knows? Here we go. The pace car is in. Big stuff. And we're off big. Just chilling. Everyone's driving hard. Drew's getting in the wall a little bit there, I think. Stuff, try to leave a lane, show some respect here early on. People behind us kind of looking fast on corner entry. Keep the lane off the wall here, let Drew have the top. Oh baby, cut me off a little bit there, thought he was going to go up to the wall, but all is good. We negotiated well. Oh no, yeah, the car behind us is kind of starting to figure it out. He's looking real solid. Drew's on the wall again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're on the wall. <laughs> car in P2's out there setting fast time. We are in fourth spot, or were, at least. Keep that thing turned left. Let Drew have the top. Hope he doesn't make any more mistakes. Come on, man, get that thing rolling, Drew. You're losing us time here. Having us to fight for this position. Right on. Now that we're not fighting for it, we're rolling decent. Huge slider lane all the way in three and four there. Still all over Drew. Car and P2 up there setting fast time. He's trying to put any distance in between an old map behind us and into us. As we can here. Drew's getting up in the wall. This is scary. He's going to end up in the wall. And we're going to end up dead. Keeping it smooth. Mega focus time. Get that thing rolling, Drew. 
going to throw a, maybe a, a freaking slider. No, we did not set that up right. Leave him a lane still. Man, I got my car all sorts of whacked up on entry there. What the hell? <laughs> Glad I bailed out of it in a good spot. That was embarrassing. Come on, Drew. Oh, yeah. Knew we were going to tag the wall there a little bit. I think the guy behind us also got in the wall. Just a skosh. Drew can't keep it off the wall. His car has no damage, though, somehow. I feel like maybe we picked up some damage. Ooh, or some damage or something. Because I feel like I'm falling off. But we should be fine. Just keep rolling hard. Say like they're throwing sliders up front. Wow. Drew got in the wall big right there. He is uh, having some struggles. This is a uh, struggle city we're watching right now. <laughs> Hope he's not like worried about me or something. Uh oh. Oh man. What a recovery. Slow on the bottom. Good job to that man. Dang it, he ended up throwing the caution. That sucks. I thought he was going to do that without a caution, but nope, restart. All right, we're about halfway through. Unfortunately, man, we're restarting on the inside, dude. I feel like the seven car is probably going to be able to get us, and then it's going to be like impossible to try and pass him back. So, man, that caution really screwed me over. Here we go. Could be just a top six day, which would be all right. Here we go. Big stuff. Oh, horrible start. Horrible restart. Terrible. Walk it all the way up the track, baby. You gotta be joking. That was sick. That was my best move ever. Wow. That was an extremely defensive move. Dump him, Drew. Jonk him. Oh, my karma's coming there. There we go. That's what I get for saying jonk him. Guy behind us is really fast. All of a sudden, he's in the wall. That guy's in the wall, too. Wow. He's going to probably throw a caution, I bet. We moved our way up to fourth, which is our car number. We moved away from that Matthew guy. I think he got in the wall. We're kind of catching Jonkman here. I didn't quite see. Maybe uh, Jonkman jonked the other guy there. Someone that's been jonked a million times is my good man, um, Austin Missler. Arm for gaming. He's, he's had a lot of jonking happen to him. It's real great stuff. Over halfway now, though. Try to see if we can catch up to Drew at all. But we do have a decent spot here watching Keith and Lucas go back and forth here. I need to be even higher, dude. That's my main problem. I need to be even closer to the wall. Okay, we caught Drew a lot right there. Oh, man. Catching Drew even more. Keep making them mistakes. This is big. He's still there. Had to bail out of it. He is driving hard, man. <laughs> he does not want to negotiate. Understandably so. Oh. Give it that race car noise. Give you a couple extra horsepower here. Even though horsepower is probably not what we're in need of. Be 
and smooth. Oh, this guy's coming back out on the track or something, or we're going to get another caution, aren't we? He's going to try to pull in the pits. Going to get us another restart. Oh, we're on 10 to go, though, so we'll be single file. I can't believe I called it. Another caution for someone trying to pull in the pits. Restart. All right, we're on 10 laps to go. Going to be getting the green this time by. We did some pretty good defensive driving on the last restart. Hoping we can kind of do the same here. And uh, luckily it's single file. I don't know. We might still get past, man. But if we do, it'll be a top five, you know. And, uh, yeah, ten laps to go. Nine laps to go, basically. Here we go. Oh, big stuff. Oh, my God. That was horrifying. Let's go, baby. Okay. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm having a hard time in one and two there. The big thanks to the guy behind me for cutting me some slack. 100%. Definitely we've cut our own slack here to Drew as well. So, it's good stuff. We're getting repaid. All right, Drew, keep that thing out of the wall, my man. There he goes to block a slider. Mirror driving. Oh, yep. That was terrible. Why would he freaking go for that still? That's insane. He didn't even attempt a crossover on that? I mean, what the... Albeit, that was a horrific slide job, but... That was clear as day. Come on, where's the race etiquette, my man? What the? But I don't. Maybe I'm complaining. I don't know. <laughs> it's all good, I guess. But he about died, and I guess it probably would have been my fault. I don't know. I feel like I was way in front of him, and crossover should have been initiated. And then the whole like him dipping down the lane there on entry to block the slider. That's that's just unfortunate. But I'm an old man now. An old cranky man. Listen to me. Sucking a big one here right at the end. Oh my god. But I feel confident in saying that I would have beat Drew. 100%. We, we had a way faster car than him. 100%. Probably have a faster lap time than him and all that good stuff. But couldn't get the job done. Big stuff. Great job. Great win to Lucas, though. He got the win there. That's awesome. We take home fourth, maybe gaining like two I rating or something like that. I'm not too sure. But and we'll flag, go look flag. and see if there are any wrecks to, to take a look at. I really don't think there's going to be any. Besides the people trying to, to pull in the pits and all that stuff. But oh my God. I'm like a million degrees. Another reason why I'm sitting here complaining so hard. Because it's freaking hot. <laughs> it's really cold outside, but I got jacket on and driving these late models dude I swear to god I'm freaking like a million degrees but it's probably gonna be a lot of wall tapping stuff I guess I would imagine because these guys were driving really competitively up front a lot of drew in the wall too and yeah, this guy spent a lot of time in the wall today really awesome stuff played really fair really fair yeah that was a good slide job right there that was a good one this guy did an awesome job too, the number seven car, old Matthew. He was driving freaking hard. And then, yeah, we kind of backed out of it, let him have it. The way I was entering for the slider just was not right. I don't know exactly what I was doing, man. Like, the car was just kind of staying tight. I couldn't get the thing hung out with a full pin. I was trying to full pin, get the tires rotating, get that back end out to slide up the track, but it just stayed tight going straight to the wall. Gonna have to work on that here at Eldora, but with the late models, man, it's a one and done. I race it once, and we're done. Never touching this again throughout the whole week. It's really amazing stuff. Big door right there. 
But uh, but of course, big thanks to the Jewel State Speed Shop, man. Hey, keeping me uh, competitive up here with the guys. And a uh, top split, even just driving this thing once a week. And yeah, I mean, there was no cautions. It's just Drew getting in the wall and the leaders kind of getting in the wall. We didn't really touch the wall very much, man, eh? You know, we might have been the highest car finishing that didn't really ride the wall all that much. Big wink. But let's go take a look at the results. 3,098 strength of field, a big boy, might I say. Uh, Lucas Roark, of course, got the W. Uh, Keith Hackney at the fastest lap time. Uh, we did have a faster lap time than Drew. A big unfortunate. Could not get around him. I suck. And uh, we gained eight I ratings, so that's pretty neat. That's really neat stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks to all my members, though. Thank you guys very much. Make sure you guys check the description. I've got a couple people asking some questions and some comments, but a lot of the answers might be able to be answered. Check in the description. A lot of links and all that good kind of stuff in there if you have any questions. But thanks to all those members. Thank you guys very much. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and have a good day.